All right, here's a uh, quick little follow-up video to my 7mm08 elk loading rounds. I uh, made these last time. I'm getting into some pressure issues with these. I'm not quite sure what it is, but uh, I went below the max on all of these. And check this out. Look at this case. Completely blew out the primer. So it completely blew out the primer on this. I don't know if you can see that. I can't get my phone to focus. And this was a mid load. This wasn't even a max load. Not even close. The max load was 46 grains of the hybrid V100 powder. This was around 43 and it blew the primer out. And then some of these other ones. So this one definitely flatter than I like but it's not too bad. And then this one right here same thing flatter than I like but not too bad. So just some weird pressure issues. I am not sure what happened there. I took my loads over to my dad's house who also reloads and uh, we use one of his mechanical scales and his digital scale just to make sure um, we popped open a couple of them make sure my scale was on and it measured perfectly over there too. So I know it's not my scale. Uh, I did find some problems with the PPU brass that I had. So I have uh, federal brass, PPU brass and I will be reloading some of these Hornady's after I finish shooting more of these. These are the Hornady I just got these to finish sighting in my gun, but they're the Hornady Whitetail 7mm08 ammo. Um, and uh, these shoot almost, these shoot right around 29 feet per second out of my gun. No pressure issues whatsoever. So I'm really concerned about the reloads I'm doing. Uh, I'm going under the max loads. And so I've decided to look up some more information. I read a bunch more on the Hornady's website on one of the forums. I talked to... Weatherby and one of the gunsmiths took a look at some of the cases I sh sent, told me not to use any more of the PPU brass. He said that there's some pressure issues with that, that brass. And uh, so I'm, I'm not going to be using any more of that brass. I'm going to get rid of all of it, actually. So here's some right here. Um, this is straight from the... These are factory loads, and the primers are still flattened on these guys, even on factory loads. So, he told me not to use the PPU brass anymore. I noticed it kicked funny when I was shooting it. Uh, he told me to, to switch powders, try a couple other ones. The, so far, the best powder I have been using is the 4350 powder. Um, these, the hybrid 100V powder that I read some good things about for this caliber is not working very well for me. Neither is my 8208 XBR powder. But the, the IMR 4350 is working well. So I'm working up some loads. Hornady recommends they have uh, some loads on the for the 162 ELDX bullets. They have some loads there and uh, on their website. So the max load on Hornady's website for the ELDX 162 grain bullet is 43.8 grains of powder. The max load that I was going off of on the IMR's website was 46 grains, and I wasn't even touching that. I was going 45, 44. 44 was pretty good, but I mean 43.8 is Hornady's max load. So I loaded these three right here to 43.5 grains. I'm going to try those and I'm going to load a bunch more. And then I'm going to pick up some Varget powder and some RL17 powder. I've read some good things about both of those. Hornady's fastest load for the 162 grain ELDX bullets was using that RL17 powder, the Alliance powder. So I'm going to pick some of that up, try that, and see how those do. Um, I'll do some videos when I'm out shooting next time so you guys can see that, see my chronograph, and see how, how close these shots are, uh, the groups and everything. The grouping isn't too bad, um, except for that these first ones down here where it completely blew out the primer. Those are all over the place, but after I saw the case, I knew exactly why. But uh, when I use my this is the the IMR 4350 powder and this was 45 grains so that was a bit hotter loads especially if you go off the Hornady day that was above the max but those just flattened the primers a little bit it didn't have the pressure issues but the groupings on those was excellent and they're going about almost 2700 feet per second which is plenty of energy to kill an elk out to 300 yards that's 2000 pounds of 2,000 foot-pounds of energy out to 300 yards out of this this gun and that's 
that's within 150. Uh, I was getting within 150 feet per second of the uh, 7mm Remington Magnum loads. And so I was, I'm pretty happy with that. For a 7mm 08, getting that kind of date, that kind of load out of these bullets is pretty phenomenal, and I'm pretty excited about that. They should be more than enough. So I'm going to try some of these other powders, and I'll let you know how it goes and give you an update on that. Sorry for the ramblings, went a little bit longer in this video, but there's an update for you. I love using this press. It works perfect. And then I have been using my perfect powder measure a little bit more, going a little bit slower on these because I was concerned about the, the pressure issues. But uh, after talking to the gunsmith for Weatherby and getting some advice from him and then and talking on the forums for Hornady, uh, I'm going to switch and not go off of IMR's data. I'm going to go off the Hornady data and try theirs, switch up the powder I've been using, and hopefully I get some good things. My, my deer hunt's next week, but that's muzzleloader. And then immediately after that is the elk hunt, and I want to get these rounds ready for that. So anyway, I'll give you an update soon. Thanks.